Hello guys and welcome in this Alan Wake 2 video I'll guide you through the process of setting up the parade ritual to complete which you need to gather four items I'll go to the directions where those items are at and I'll uh, let you know how to gather an item which is hidden which is basically going on right now so take a look So the first thing I did was to collect all of the clues that you might find on the market itself. If you click on each item, you'll get clues that you'll be able to use later on on your board. Um, once you set up the board, you'll figure out more or less where all the items could be located at. Take a look. So I've set up this bullshit board with all the clues that I found and um, Mulligan and Turton were supposedly responsible for the <clears throat> deer mask, which gave me access after placing them on the wall to the to their profiles. So, if you look at the deputies, you'll see that there are options to choose from the deer mask. Once you play with both of the clues, one after another, you figure out that the mask is when it comes back. Take a look at that. They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Real powder here. The mark of a crumbling will. Show the bitch who's The moose mask is at the Huatari well in Coffee World. So with the mask in place, we had our first item that we could place directly on our board. Take a look. The moose skull goes here, obviously. Now then, to figure out the location of all the items, we again had to play with this board, which is really frustrating, you know. So, I basically played with the board, I will speed this up a bit, and I'll show the location of the other necessary items. So, to sum it up, we have to collect a knife, we already have a mask, we need to find a cassette tape, and we also need to make sure this bullshit market is moving, you know. So, let's go ahead and let's give it a try. So, the first item, actually the second item that you, you have to find is, the, is located at the Espresso Express, which will make our market move. But there's one thing which is, not, which is not obvious to make to get that item from the Espresso Express. You first have to find a fuse which lies in a different location because this is not moving actually. So this is the location of the Espresso Express. This is the Espresso Express and I'll give you the location of the fuse I which control. I really struggled finding. And our fuse is here at the place of the Knights of the Cavalry close to our palette. And this is where my, my Twitch stream is fucked up. And our fuse is here, lying on the table next to a, a next to a coffee. I, I honestly had a lot of problems finding this one out. <laughs> but here is the fuse, and now with the fuse we can uh, run the Exp Espresso Express, which take a look at right now. And we're back at the Exp Espresso Express, but this time around, instead of going forward, you, uh, f you have to go to the right, and you'll see a fuse box up there. And which you'll have to put to which you have to put the fuse in. Now this will start the express. Uh, I mean, you have to press the button here, which will start the express, and then you have to stop it to reach out the bottom part of this express, which is not that easy at first glance. But I managed to do it on so my second try. I guess take a look.
And voila! It was my first reaction on the second one. Once we're, <laughs> once we're inside, uh, you'll see that the express will start uh, running again, which means that someone started the route, so you'll have to choose a different route on your way back. This is pretty scary, honestly. Uh, now we got two parts, right? This is the part, this is the cassette tape. Or this is the mechanism which will make it moving, which will make the our market moving. And as I said, once you pick up that item, the, this coffee express will start moving again. Someone started it out, so you have to choose like that different route on your way back. Now then, we're back at the location of our maquette. Oh, Here's the place where you put moving. the second item. It's the steering control um, device. And I guess we are left with two items. One is a knife, and the second one is the, is the cassette tape. So let's take a look on how I figured this out. Again, doing bullshit stuff on the board, so let's forget about that. The screwdriver is located at the gift shop, uh, the place I that I struggled with do. previously. Pretty simple, it's here. You just pick it up and go out, that's it. And it's not a screwdriver, but a knife, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so the cassette tape is close to per percolator behind this smiley texture, <clears throat> behind this smiley guy. You see, it's here. Once you get to the area, you can hear a noise which actually points you to a correct di direction. And I guess we got three items now, and um, the final item is... Let me think about it. I'll just give me a minute. Now then, assume this is the final item you collected, you'll be attacked on the way back. So, here's my way back. I was attacked by one dude, which I got rid of. I was out of ammo, so I guess I had to... Just run quickly to the location and yeah, I'm, I avoided those guys and we're back at the location. If you do stuff quickly, you'll be able to set the rest up without being attacked. And as long as you, as, this, as soon as you set it up, all of the enemies are gone and you can continue your journey and get down into the wild because the ritual is complete right now. And this concludes the second Alan Wake tutorial that I've set it up for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know down in the comments below if you like it. Cheers.